Updating to iOS 7 is really easy. All you need to do is go into your settings, go to general, and then select software update. There you should see the update for iOS 7 once, it's, once it is available. If you don't see the update uh, there, then you can always open up iTunes with your device connected and click the update button. It should say a newer version of the software is available with 7.0 once it's released. So you can do one of two different ways there. Now, once you update and everything's installed, you'll actually see this screen here. This is the new intro screen for iOS 7. This is the new setup wizard for iOS 7. And as you can see, it's remarkably different than the previous versions of iOS. It's a lot cleaner looking, a lot more white, and uh, it's just, it seems easier and it just, some of the, um, the wording just makes a lot more sense this go around here. So you just slide over like that. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is select your language. You get this long menu, long list of uh, different languages. Choose English, and then you want to select your country. Of course, it asks you to select your Wi-Fi network next. And then you can put in your password once you do that. And my password is uh, in there now. Okay. And the next step is to, as soon as it's finished, activate your phone. All right, now I'm gonna enable location services, set up as a new iPhone. I'll skip the Apple ID for now. And then of course, uh, terms and conditions agree. And if you wanna use a passcode, you can do that. I don't right now. I'm gonna continue. Use Siri, don't send diagnostics to Apple, and then tap get started and you're ready to go. So that is how you get iOS 7 once it is publicly available for download. And that is also how you uh, set up your device with the new install wizard.